There, there does not need to be another take. That's perfect. Front Range is a group that I've put together to be a vehicle for what I like to call acoustic fusion. When we read through these things the first time, uh, we realized this is not capital J jazz. This is something straight in the middle. I mean, it's it's, it's almost rock and roll at, at some point. So it's it's really original. Uh, the melodies are really strong, and uh, it's super funky and super fun to play. The vision itself, as far as compositional, kind of marries two ideas. One of Troy Andrews and what he does with the whole trombone shorty thing, and and what Bob Mincer and Russell Ferrante and everybody does with the Yellow Jackets. So the vibe of this music is constantly deep in the pocket, heavy groove oriented, and uh, fun. I mean, that's really the vibe I'm looking for is a lot of fun with this music. And I'm having a blast with it. And, and one of the great joys are all the people I'm working with. It's just, it's a joy the whole way through. There's nothing better than playing music that you love with guys that you love. That's, there's, there's just nothing better than that. Uh, I just feel that sometimes that's missing in contemporary music and I, I, I'm glad the groove is back and I think <laughs> other people will enjoy that. You know, I, yes there's some complex harmonic things going on, but the, the groove is so strong on so many of these tunes. The writing process and creativity in general is different for everybody. For me, I need to nudge it a little bit and, and nurture it. In my backyard, there's this wonderful 10-mile strip of land that's been set aside and kept uh, pristine. So I go out with my dog, Lucy, or my family, and uh, quite often by myself. And this guy, the major tool of the 21st century, the iPhone or the smartphone, and I'll just walk for a mile and a half, two miles, and um, the ideas come to me as I get into a rhythm. And by the time I'm finished with that walk, I have the whole grand arc of the story that eventually is going to be that composition. What I think of with the front range is, you know, you look at those mountains every day and they, they change, they never look the same. And they're always, uh, I don't know if I'll ever get used to looking at them, they're just so spectacular. Um, and the feeling that that gives me is just an overwhelming feeling of uh, joy and happiness. So my vibe right now and my goal with this is to try to express some of that uh, in this music. And hopefully it comes across and is enjoyable for everybody else to experience. projects that I've done that each track has a certain character and a certain thing that um, it's it's it, I just find it great um, sometimes you play like a whole album and, and sometimes a whole album has like maybe 10 songs right 10 tunes and you feel like maybe there's eight that are great and there's a couple that is like hey man we need a couple of tunes on this project Steve uh, wrote the seven tunes and he was gonna write maybe two or three more but it didn't feel right. So we just focus on those seven tunes. And I thought that was great because those seven tunes are amazing. A wonderful quote that I heard uh, from Gil Evans is that he said, harmony is the place where two lines intersect. So that was the way he was thinking of harmony. Whereas quite often in jazz, we'll think of it as 
up and down chord progression. So I'm, I'm trying to think more linearly with this stuff. And the results have just been a blast and a lot of fun. To me, the surprising element is what is outside of the jazz thing. So it's like, you know, sometimes I'm hearing a line that Steve wrote and I'm like, hey man, that, that sounds like Frank Zappa. And then he's like, yeah, you're right. And then, you know, and then we listen to some other stuff and it sounds like a, maybe a band that I heard that's sort of like a heavy metal inference, you know, or there's a guitar sound that is more like, a, you know, I tell Mike, hey man, that sounds like, a, I don't know, Randy Rhodes, and he knows exactly what I'm talking about. And that's really cool. You know, because that's like outside of the whole jazz thing. So one of the interesting things I think that's happened in the 21st century is that live music has become uh, more important. So I, myself, wanted to, I feel very strongly about wanting to always have a canvas and always to be creating. One can't always stay on tour. So for me, the recording process is that, where I can have the vision and it can be realized through these incredible musicians and uh, shared, really, with the world as kind of an invitation to check this music out and hopefully we'll see you live. I love being in the studio. Oh, it's the best. And what I love is, uh, I mean, with this band, I mean, the basic tracks will be smoking. And then you get a chance to detail all that stuff. And that, that's what I love, is taking it to that next step with the, you know, all the detail in terms of sounds, which is, I think Steve is very, uh, very into, you know, he's, he's really wanting, you know, specific things from keyboards and guitar and the iwi. I just love that stuff you know, where you get into the, the sonic detailing, of, you know, the, of a smoking basic track. And it's really cool going to the studio because you're going to document what's happening right now. The first time I think I really got that spark about music where you can't do anything else but music was in a, a literally a garage band when I was in high school in Mississippi, in Hattiesburg, Mississippi. And my friends and I got together and we were doing the typical garage band thing of playing the music of the day, but the music of the day was uh, things that didn't always have horn parts. So if I wasn't transcribing Chicago or Blood, Sweat and Tears, it would be ZZ Top or something like that, and I would write horn parts to go on it. And it was my first attempts at writing and transcribing, but to this day, that is the most sparkly, most inspirational musical moment, one of the top 10 that I can remember. So this project, it comes full circle, and I'm writing that way again, where the focus is on the spark of why I got into music in the first place. This feels so fresh. This, this feels like something new um, that's referencing a long history, but is completely fresh in the way it's put together. Front Range is really, at the end of the day, a party and a great celebration, and I think this project did a wonderful job capturing that vibe.